Hello and welcome to the Third Rail. If you follow the channel, you might have seen one of my videos about a new addition I received recently, which was this uh, 3055 from Mayaclin, which is a class 1200 from the Dutch Railways. It was a cheap buy, and as you can see from the picture, it's uh, pretty worse for wear. There's a bit of dust everywhere, there's a few scratches, there's stuff stuck on the body. But despite all these imperfections, the locomotive proved to be a very good runner during the uh, initial test. So I think it's worth investing a bit of time into it and see whether we can improve it. So I went off and started by tackling the grime that had settled all over the model. As you can see under the pantographs, there's quite a large accumulation of all sorts of things. There's also plenty of marks on the body, which are deposits of glue or scenery, perhaps. Whatever that is, it's a job for good old WD-40. I just sprayed the entire body with WD-40, let it rest for a few minutes and then rubbed everything off the body gently with cotton buds. After all this basic cleaning done, I could then turn my attention to fixing the vents on the sides of the model. Normally the paint used by Merklin is quite resilient against contact with fingers and general handling of the models, but for the silver paint of the models of that era that doesn't seem to be the case. As you can see on the pictures, paint is falling off the vents in patches. So there is no other choice than repaint the affected areas. That's really a last resort for me because I'm allergic to paint brushes and I'm not very good at painting. But I can handle a spray can from time to time. So I started by prepping the area. I used some masking tape from Tamiya, which I used in the past when I tried to paint something else. I still had a few rests lying around. I spent 40 minutes preparing the body until I was confident that I could start spraying some paint without having too much of it sliding under the tape. I then proceeded to do the quickest part of the job, which was to apply some silver paint. I used some paint from Humbro. I waited a few hours, then applied a thin coat of varnish over the top to try and protect the paint from rubbing off through the handling of the model and I then let everything dry for a few days. Once everything had dried off I moved on to uh, tidy the handrails. The handrails on this type of models are made of little bits of wire which are passed through little holes in the body and uh, bent on the inside of the model to keep them in place. So they are very easy to take off and clean. Usually uh, these wires are quite corrosion resistant, but in this case they must have had quite a few shocks and have been exposed to a few elements, so they started to rust. But uh, we can fix that relatively easily. I usually take the handrails off and then I use a product called Quick Glow, which I rub on their surface. This product is water-based and applied with a damp sponge or cloth. And uh, the rubbing action on the metal you treat with it will remove the rust and leave a protective coating to prevent rust from settling again and to repair dirt. This product works usually very nicely for me. Unfortunately, and due to my haste probably, I broke a few handrails, so I had to move to plan B. And the plan B was nichrome wire, which is normally used for 
uh, the heating element in a foam cutter, for example. It's corrosion resistant and it's very flexible. So I made new handrails for the model using that wire. Finally, as I never throw anything away which is model railway related, I had a few spare pantographs I could rescue from some broken engines in my spares box. So I was ready to reassemble everything. And here's an overview of the finished product. And let's do a few before after pictures for comparison. So here is one of the sides after treatment. You can see the new vents and handrails. Here's the other side. Here we can see the damage on that side. And now we can see that the damage is more or less gone. And if we look at the nose, we can see one of the rusty handrails and on the after picture, shiny new handrails at the front. The roof was dirty and now it's all clean and it's got brand new, well, nearly new pantographs. As far as the underside is concerned, there was nothing massively wrong there. I've just tied it up a bit, changed the pickup shoe. So the model is now ready to go for a few hours on the layout. I'm actually quite surprised with the result in a pleasant way. Uh, I didn't think the uh, locomotive would come back uh, so well. So that doesn't fix the uh, paint scratches, but I think the model uh, can be classified as being in uh, good to very good condition now. All in all, the repair cost £10 and 90 minutes of work. If I had had to buy new pantographs, it would have cost an additional 30 to 40 pounds. So, not a bad result for a little investment. But for now, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. It's very much appreciated. I'd also like to thank the existing and recent subscribers to the channel. I'm still surprised that people are interested in my production, so much so that they subscribe to the channel and sometimes give me a like. It's very rewarding and keeps me going. Thanks very much again. Bye for now.